for today then. Hello! Ah, sorry I can't make it in today. We've been placed into isolation. Hmm. Our producer will act as your cameraman today. The, uh, the cameras will be live when you arrive. Hello everyone! Welcome to Bank News. Hmm. Today, we've got some uh, we've got some different stuff for you today. In today's episode, we will be, of course, recapping the events of March 2020. With one main story dominating our headlines, and that being that of, of course, Coronation Street Virus. No, oh, hang on. The Curry Virus. No, that's not right still, hang on. The... The coronavirus, that's it. Corona, go, go, corona. That's the one. And the, the COVID-19 coronavirus. Now, we started this month with uh, major, major problems in the supermarkets as people were shitting themselves, as evidenced by the distinct lack of toilet paper in your local shops. As, uh, as the month went on, our, uh, our conditions changed, of course, because we was placed into lockdown and isolation, which meant that all essential travel was cancelled. Hang on. Now, all essential travel was cancelled, apart from that of BT, who were placing the 5G network up around London as we speak. Now, um, also, what happened when we was in lockdown, obviously, we, uh, oh, oh, there it is. My mate, man, Boris Johnson, right? He tested positive for COVID-19 along with his best mate, Matt Hand-Me-Downs. That's the one. I'd just like to say a massive congratulations to them for passing the test. Mm. Now, um, as the month went on, we, uh, we began our testing with the NHS with uh, Matt Hand-Me-Down promising 10,000 tests a day to the public and the NHS workers along with social workers. Now, we averaged about 9,000 a day, which in my books, I mean, I'm just a humble presenter, but in my books, I think that's pretty good going for the NHS. But um, what did Matt hand me down do? He, uh, he went out and he promised 100,000 tests by the end of April. And we're the ones that's the strain on the NHS. Now, We'll go back to a little bit more lighter news and um, I'd just like to take a moment just to, to really appreciate the, all sides of this virus in that we see a lot of negative press about it, we see a lot of people dying and of course that is tragic and you know we, we will do the best that we can to fight against that but on the opposite side of that there's a lot of good things going on in our communities. We see a lot more people going around speaking with their relatives going to make sure that their, their elders are okay, checking on the lady down the road who may not have their kids nearby. They, um, it's very nice to see that the uh, the great British general public is pulling together. And we'd just like to take a second to thank you for doing so and to uh, urge you to continue this work. Which, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all for the news for us. Um, I mean, there's, there's not really been a lot, so there's only really been this. So, uh, mm, mm. so what else been going on, though? There's been some stuff on YouTube, apparently. Well, we'll go over to my man with the YouTube news. Hello and welcome to Bag News. This is the YouTube section 
And unfortunately, there isn't much to go and talk about when it comes down to things. There have been a couple of issues regarding the lockdown, which uh, has gone and left quite a few channels, um, including a lot of vlogging channels, uh, very, very under dismay. Now, this is a really, really big issue when it goes and comes down to things. Even with Alfie Days going and turning around, who's one of the top vloggers on the actual channel at the moment, uh, going and turning around and even in the title of the video going and saying uh, he wasn't even sure he wanted to go and vlog. It's a very, very big struggle. Another thing that we're going and noticing is a lot of group channels. A lot of group channels are going and having a lot of different issues. Now, the reason for this is obviously because with social distancing and so on and so forth, coming together and going and doing content like we're going and doing right now is extremely difficult to go and do. But we're trying to handle ourselves as best as we can. So thank you very much once again for going and watching this video right now. Now I go and use the word shit very seriously when I go and talk about this next one. KSI released a new song. And you can already guess what I think about it. Now, unfortunately, he has gone and came up with a way to go and save this song. And that is to go and get rid of the deadest verse that you've ever gone and heard for a, uh, <laughs> for a section when it comes down to things. Thank you very much for getting rid of this KSI. Uh, so basically, there's a challenge going on at the moment where he's giving viewers, uh, well, basically anyone, at all the chance to go and rap over the part of the verse uh, that he's gotten rid of. And basically go and have it get put into the remix. Now, I believe this is really going to save... Uh, the, the, the video is going to go and save the song when it goes and comes down to it. So well done there for going and coming up with that one after going and seeing all the crap reviews. The next thing that I'm going to go and talk about is uh, actually how the YouTube community is going and doing its absolute best to try and find ways to go and keep people happy and safe uh, by going and giving them something to do indoors. Now the one person I'm going to mention uh, that I've gone and watched a lot of this stuff for and uh, is really been quite amazing when it comes down to this with the positive message that he's going and sending is actually Doody. So uh, Doody also before known as Doody Rhino. I'm not sure if he's bringing back the Rhino, you know, but uh, he's actually gone and turned around and he's gone and made a multiple different lists of different stuff like movies, series and uh, so on and so forth, documentaries uh, of the kind of content in which he goes and creates, uh, basically going and showing uh, what he goes and likes on Netflix and what he doesn't, uh, you know, kind of what, where he go and listen and rate things uh, for people to actually go and watch, to go and go and kill some time, basically, whilst we're all going to stuck on this lockdown. Now, it's not going to obviously take us all the way to the end of the lockdown, but it gives you something to go and do. So if you're getting bored or anything like that, literally just go and have a look for these videos just here that I've got and placed here. Literally, just go and give them a watch. Go and give them a watch. Find something to go and do. If you've already gone and watched it, obviously, you've already gone and watched it, but please... Keep safe, keep smiling, and make sure that you do everything that you can. By going and staying inside like this, who knows how many lives we could be saving. Thank you very much. Oh, Booker, it's boring when there's no one here. Hmm. Ah. We'll go over now. To our main mum, Toby. With a sport. Welcome to Sport. Latest in football? Cancel. Um, latest in basketball? Cancel. Uh, latest in cricket? Still on? Cancel. Um... So for sport. He is right. But at least we've still got WrestleMania to look forward to this weekend. That's, that's this weekend if anybody gives a shit. Now over to the weather. Who cares? We can't go anywhere. Who cares? It's not like we can go anywhere. It's shit. Well, 
while we've got this last opportunity just to just to wrap everything up i just want to say firstly thank you for watching wherever you are whoever you are in the world thank you for your support secondly i'd just like to um take this time to just remind everybody do listen to the experts advice do stay home do wash your bloody hands but most importantly stay safe look out for one another but whatever happens we will be here next month for the next episode of bag news mm -hmm. while you're still here make sure you stay tuned for this next episode of agony corner with Joby. thanks for watching everyone And welcome to the Delane Show with me, Jelvin. Now, as you can see, I have took quarantine to quite a new level. As uh, my mask is slightly better than everyone else's because it is wallproof. Oh, ho, ho, get it? Fuck it. So, today on Bag News in the Delane Show, we have been looking at all sorts of things. As you can see, all my other co-hosts are not here. That is because they are at home, staying inside. Pussies. But us, on the other hand, have found a way to make the news to you. To you. And to you. Now, let's see some of the agony news from you outside. Gwen says she enjoys the show. Thank you, Gwen. David says, what a lovely day it is outside. It's a shame I can't go outside. I know, David. But you know what you can do in your spare time? Clean your fucking room, boy. Your mum's been on the phone to me. She says it's a fucking mess. Next. There's a birthday announcement. Happy birthday! You're stuck inside! Well, at least then, you can enjoy company. Your own! Ho 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 ho! Only kidding. Happy birthday to... Ko... Kikwana... Kikwana... Ah! I think he's a good one. This one comes from Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. He says, I'm having a bad cough. What should I do? I don't know. Have a cup of tea. Because we're British that way. And everything is solved by a good cup of tea. Or, as in American way, while it's in these times of trouble, have yourself a Twinkie. Because, as everyone knows from the good movie, Zombieland, Twinkies are good. Um. Oh! Someone got a message! Well, that's it for to today's nose. And as always, the best way to be. Where the fuck are they gone? No! No! Oh, thank God. <laughs>